Welcome back to part three of the four-part Corkery saga that no one ever asked for. Today, I will be testing each of the cork races as how they double as chapstick. Because if you're a musician in the northern climates, where you're going in and out of doors, you're playing a lot in the winter time, it can be harsh on your lips. And sometimes your chapstick just disappears. No matter how many you buy. And all that's left is your cork grease. I feel like I'm going to have some regrets about this. I also have no idea if any of these are toxic. I'm going to assume that they're not. I'm going to assume that they're all not toxic. Because they're going on instruments which go in people's mouths. I don't believe that they're toxic. Either way, until I dig up these ingredient lists, maybe don't try this at all. Okay, so, first up, the one that I'm dreading. It's like a band-aid. It's like a band-aid. We're just gonna rip it off. Ultimax. This one, if you remember from yesterday, it's like super thick. Really, it's like... Oh this oh this is bad. This is bad. Oh oh I regret this. Uh. Big up on that one. Next up. Venture. Venture was the one that was super greasy. Made in the good old U.S. of A. It also is the one that had the longest um, longevity in our really bad cork grease signs. So, let's see how this goes. I'm not too worried about this one. I feel like this is probably going to feel like just greasier than regular chapstick, but... Yamaha Premium Corkers. This one was thicker than Venture, uh, but had a good longevity, good duration. Feels the same. Just like chapstick. Seems good to me. Le Blanc. Same with Venture. This one was super greasy. It's super soft. It comes off so easily. I feel like that's way too much. This one has that kind of like minty cork grease smell that I always loved as a kid. It's got that mint, menthol -y. I don't know what it is, but I mean this will do the trick in a pinch, but it's like, I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't tell. It's super greasy. Probably not my number one choice. I think probably so far Yamaha is my number one choice for a uh, cork race chapstick. Let's continue with the French ones. Let's do Bandor. This one has that apple smell. It smells like freaking apples. I don't hate it. Not as greasy as the Blanc. It smells nice. Oh, 
I'll take it. Mandor. Good job doubling his chapstick. Nobody asked for this video. In the French category, we have Cell. Super soft. Again, like Bella Blanc. I feel like this is just going to be like super greasy. Yeah, just it's so oily. Good for the corks, maybe not your face. Last one. In the French category, we have Buffet Crampon. Again, really soft, I barely touch it. A big clump comes off, a big chunk. But this applies kind of thicker. Very greasy, but not, not as greasy. No, this, it does the job. It does the trick. Let's jump to our Canadians. We've got uh, the Bakun white one. These are firmer. These This feels like chapstick. Doesn't smell like anything, but it feels good. Okay. It's like chapstick. No scent. In order to Spare my lips. Burns beats in the approved pile because it's obviously meant to go on your face. Oh, let's do super slick. So this was the one that was like super sticky, gunky. When I put it on the cork, it kind of reminded me of lotion. Like when lotion doesn't want to massage into your skin, it doesn't want to absorb. Why? I feel like I'm gonna regret this too. Oh, it's just, it's so thick. This was a bad choice. Next one, the Dario. I feel like this one's gonna be fine too. It doesn't, it smells really like plasticky. Right. Definitely thicker. It's all right. It's really thick. It's got this weird plastic smell to it. My face, my face smells like plastic now. This. Last but not least, this is designed to be both chapstick and corkers. My only issue with it, if you remember from my past video, is that it is literally neon pink. It is surprisingly pigmented. So if you put this on your cork, oh, it's hard to do on the camera. It's one thing when it's clear. It's another thing when it's hot pink. Also, this is going, look at this. This nonsense is gonna get all over your reeds. It's gonna stain your reeds. But it feels good. And strawberry. In conclusion, there are five corkeries that I feel you can uh, effectively use as chapstick. Bakun, 
Van Doren, and Yamaha. In terms of texture, they all feel somewhat similar, but smell-wise, Van Doren wins. So, if you're not going with Bird's Bees, which is actually intended to be put on your face. Van Doren seems like a good option. Well, there you have it. The video that nobody ever needed, that nobody ever asked for. Why are we doing this? Stay tuned for part four, where we actually dig in to the ingredients of, or try to, dig into the ingredients of all of these quirkeries and see if what I just spent 25 minutes slithering all over my face was safe. Stay safe, everyone. See you soon. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and visit Miles's store. For all your quirk, grease, and clarinet needs, www.northcountrywins.com. Bye.